pot to save over $10,000 on master bathroom renovation and remodeling. Complete renovation and remodeling. Include top to shower conversion. As I promised on my YouTube introductory page, I am renovating or remodeling this current master bathroom. Since it's over 25 years old and is going out of style, I am planning to remove the current jacuzzi shower top and install walking shower. This bathroom has two sink area that also need renovation. Of course, you're going to take everything out first, demolition time. Then after that, I need to check to see what type of work needs this project. I'm going to do my best to go through the entire process to complete this project. Stay tuned. I did my best to organize all this video so you can find it much easier. The way you access it, go to my channel, uh, select playlist and all the host projects are located right in this icon. Uh, feel free to access all those videos. And meanwhile, you're here in this channel, go ahead and subscribe. And this is where is located subscription icon. And select the bell so you'll be notified for upcoming video and select the thumbs up so YouTube uh, suggests this video to others. Thank you so much. I'm going to start working, remodeling this bathroom. All these tiles are going to come out. And here the bathroom is going to be totally changed. That's currently how it looks like. This, believe it or not, you know, it had a mirror in here. It has a, in the past, had a wrong curve here, glass curve. You know, I removed that years ago because it was so hard to get in there and close it it was about this big you know to get in and it was so hard so I remove that this is jacuzzi and this is going to come off i'm going to put a regular uh, just shower here first i'm going to remove this tile up there and i'm going to raise this ceiling you know to match that all that popcorn is going to come out so today i'm going to start removing the tiles and trying to get to the pipe and recap those pipes then i can work on it so let's see how far i can go today but this is just going to show you how the bathroom look like and again all this floor the tile is going to be replaced and this is another closet this master bedroom had two closets so that's going to be also replaced as well and here we're going to get it started the first thing to do remove this i already pop it off with this there was a result now i can't get there remove those the screws and take this out of here the shower curtain it was a curved one that i installed it years ago when i removed this piece of glass that I shared with you was here like dome believe it or not all right let me continue taking this out look what I found after I start taking the first layer out I noticed there is a tile underneath and also there is some type of material between them which is looks like a fiberglass cement or something like that if you check back there you can tell it's an oil tile and a new one so whoever did this remodeling before we bought the house they did an awful job they put the tile over other tile i guess they were not thinking about the person who need to work on this so see how that is so anyway it's going to be a lot of work and demolition lots of stuff to remove of course, I removed all those drywall there. As you know, if I don't need that anymore, I'm gonna raise this to the ceiling. What you see over there, those are a foam spray years ago. We were taking shower in winter time. You felt this cold air coming through. So years ago, when I built upstairs, I asked them to foam this gap area. Then since then, we didn't have any issue, any problem with air coming through. This foam 
it icing in is unbelievable i'm telling you if you need to reinstallate your house use icing in is really the best so anyway this is what i found the screw the whatever that concrete joint is uh, right there and then they put the tile over it which is dumb what are you doing it i guess i don't know and here I start taking it apart you see this big piece there is a I think there was green drywall they put over the oil tile as you see they screwed it in I don't know if you can see the screws it's like the screws above so as soon as I start pulling it the drywall and tile I start coming out and still the screw is holding it but you can tell you know doing it this way folks I don't know you know how long this thing will last but you know it was not a good way of doing it so I'm going to pull all these things out and I will show you my goal is to take the ceiling out then get behind her cut the water pipes there's a cold water and hot water cut it you know chap it uh, then I can take everything else out I do not want to take anything out before chapping those, I mean, talking about these tiles, this shower thing, before those, you know, the pipe being capped. Otherwise, you're gonna have a lot of water issue. You are not gonna believe this. I just took this out, the first layer. Look what they did. This is absolutely ridiculous. See that in the back is an old tile. They cut two by four. They screwed it into the old tile. Then they install the drywall over those and then they tile it. It's just, I never saw something like this before. Wow. When we bought this house, they told us that they remodeled the bathroom area before we purchased it, a couple of years before we purchased it. And I guess they didn't know what this builder was doing here. It's unbelievable. I can't believe this. I can't, I, I'm in shock to be honest with you. Oh man. This is just moving the first tile. How about what's going on on the second one? You see what they did, the ceiling tile? They put that in first. Then they put this wall over it. That doesn't make any sense. Unbelievable. Wow. Crummy job I call this. The first layer came out and this is how it looks like. I'm wearing a mask so the dust doesn't get to me. Look how they fix this place. This is how it was underneath. I guess because this is jacuzzi, they put all the wires in the underneath. The big gap there just total crazy the way they did this doesn't make any sense again all right i broke this hammer here <laughs> you see it broke off so i want i got this big one and this is heavy duty one and using this and also this tool back here you see those foam was actually holding on to the board to this thing i had to take all those foam out and then keep hitting it with that big hammer and this is where we are this is so darn thick all right finally all the ceiling came out i had to take all those uh, foam out now I'm taking this tile, the, uh, that's the tool I'm using, using with a hammer like this. Oh, boy, these are the old tiles, so I uh, see it's different than the other side. So I'm taking that out just by heading it like that. Then of course you pop it off like that. And that's going to be tough because it's a double layer. Let me also show you that's where the water pipes are. You see those two right there? That's where I need to cut it and plug it so I can't take this, this jacuzzi out of here. Okay, I took this board off right here. It was right there. And also I start taking this off. 
Uh, this is the frame that actually where they build shower ceiling. I'm taking that out. So that one is almost out. All these tiles came out as well as the other side. All the towers are gone. See those pipes are cut off right here and I chopped them off. And now I remove this piece totally out. It was tough to come out, but it is out. Look at behind this tile. And here, uh, where the pipe was coming through. This is Chukuzi brand, as you see right here. And the problem is, it's too much higher than regular bathtub. I'm gonna get rid of it. We never use this type of thing anymore. When the kids they were small, yes, but not anymore. I'm gonna make you know walk-in shower to be easier to get in and get out. All right, I want to just show you what's behind that thing I just pulled out, and as you see, this is the old tile. And what they did, look at the crummy job they did. This is the old shower, I believe. It's things was coming through faucet uh, for valve on and off. And this is what they did. Unbelievable. And that is where the pipes are. So all these tiles need to come out. Okay, all the tiles came out and now I'm taking this post. Already pulled it out and this is, you know, it's going to come off totally. Those two up there will come off too. Because remember the ceiling going to raise as high as this one. So all the tiles are out, as you see they're right here. It's coming along folks. We have lots of work to get to take everything apart. Okay, all the drywalls came out from everywhere. And this is what I found behind the drywall. You see those little gap right there? Sometimes the rodent, like a rat, get behind this fiberglass and they build nest in those area and that's what I noticed in other parts of the house when I was rebuilding it so that's why I don't like this fiberglass at all I'm going to remove all of them uh, the problem with this fiberglass first they are not healthy second you saw rodent can get behind it and you never know they're there you see they built such a warm nest here you know and uh also the water got here you know all uh eat up the wood as well it's another finding and then one other thing they did usually when you put a tall my understanding you have to secure them to those two by fours you see they didn't secure it at all at all so whoever installed this they didn't know what the heck they were doing because you have to secure it otherwise this top can move as a matter of fact, if I put my feet here, you see, it moved. Just I pressed it with my feet. You don't build that way. And maybe that's why we have some issue with the tiles, because this was moved, you know. It's just crazy, folks. I don't know why they build it this way. But I'm glad I'm taking it apart and rebuilding it. All right, I need to remove this drainage because there's a pipe hooked up in the back. Also, I went, I purchased a tool like this to be able to remove this, you know, that little drain because otherwise you cannot remove it. You need a tool like that. So with the help of this, just turning it and that's supposed to release it. Okay, loosened up now. I can't turn it. Took you a little time because you know it's this thing sitting for I guess over 20 years or so. So loosening it up was hard, but now you see it's out. But you have to remove this, otherwise the top not gonna come off. There is a screw here, I need to remove this. See it's moving now. Again, you have to remove that. If you don't pull those two things out, you know, when you wanted to take the, the top out it's gonna bust all your pipes then you don't know what type of damage it's gonna cause so that's why i remove them 
All right, I don't know if you can see this or not. Uh, remember I mentioned before they put some connection right here. Look what they did here. They just put a plug like that and they hooked this up. I think that is a sonar. Hooked it up behind the wall. I'm so glad we didn't get electrocuted because here if the water get to this, it's going to kill you. This is a crummy work. Whoever work on this, they did such a crummy work. It's unbelievable. You don't do this. This is so dangerous. Unbelievable. Uh, this house, you know, when I bought it, the inspector found over 225 issue with it. And through the years, I fixed everything. Of course, the behind the wall, they couldn't see it. See, they put one here. So you're not supposed to do that. And another here, they plugged it in. Such a ridiculous work. Unbelievable. Ah, I'm uh, glad we didn't get electrocuted. Then taking a shower, if the water get behind there, it just could be a disaster. Anyway, I thought to show you before I take this thing apart. Look how much wire they put behind this. They run it all the way from there. You're supposed to secure this to 2 by 4 They just run it up there. And here they left all this extra wire back there. Oh, it's a crummy work they did. Unbelievable. I should send all this video to original owner. I'm sure they had no clue what these people were doing. Okay, just unplug that thing. As you see, it's right there. Unplug that and took the front panel off, of course. That's the pipe need to be cut right here. Right, this one is coming down. This is where the drain field is. As you see, it goes underneath. That's why I didn't want to break it because it might mess up other things. So I'm going to use my uh, saw and cut that off. Then I don't know if I can pull this by myself, you know, all out in one piece which is shame because somebody else might be able to use it but if i cannot take it one piece so i have to cut it piece by piece to take it out because these doors are small here and i don't think i can pull this out by myself so let's see what we can do thing as you see it can all the fiberglass is out uh, water damage back there it is a big mess i'm telling you it's a big mess I'm glad I found this out before everything fall apart. All right, let me start cutting this thing and pulling these things out of here. Unfortunately, I could not get it out in one piece. I had to cut all the pipes out first, then cut it in three different pieces. That's the only way I could take it out of the bathroom by myself. So it's gonna to go to the trash. Just wanna show you. All right, the top is out. As you can see, that's the tool I used to cut the top in three pieces. Look what the mess is behind this wall. Of course, those are the fiberglass that I need to take out. Those are the many fiberglass. And now you see why I don't like this fiberglass at all. Those foams are much, much, much better than this. And you see the water damage here. See that? Let me zoom in for you to see it. Look, all this wood is being destroyed. It is a big mess, folks. Yeah, look what they did here. Broke the concrete and they filled it up with their trash and they left it like that. And they didn't seal it, they didn't do anything. Uh, why? Because most homeowners, they don't know what's going on underneath. You see that four inch concrete, they just break it and that's what they did. It was tons of nails, like, like here. To be honest with you, I don't know how this wall was holding on together. You see how rusted they are? You see? As a matter of fact, I put some down here in the ground so you can see. These are the nail I pulled out, all rusted. So this wall, it was just a matter of time to fall apart. Look what I found. Look the electricity cord. They cut it right here. They just cut it like that. That's the way it was. Then I pulled this panel. Look, it just came on. You see the nail? Look here. So this idiot just left this wire here and cut it like this behind the shower wall. I don't even know if they touch each other or not. 
I need to get my multimeter to see if there's anything comes in this wire or not. Then it goes all the way to the ceiling right here. You tell me why we should have a bare wire sitting back here. Doesn't make any sense. Anyway, all this board needs to be replaced. Let me tell you how bad it is. Look, you see it? Okay, you see it? Look, it's falling apart. You see that? And termite love to do to get to this stuff, termites. I don't know why we have no termite here. But look here. Look, you see? And this is old pipe and I need to cut. And also a clean here. This is the one, if you remember how much stuff was here, I removed all of them. Those are the pipe, those are the water pipe. You see the water, old water pipe? But okay, you tell me why they put galvanized water pipe on dirt in old days when they used to build houses. Such a dumb idiot people. I guess they didn't know that uh, galvanized, is it this the one right here? All rust off. They repiped the house, but you see the cutter just left it there. This is bad. Look this one, it's sitting like that. I'm gonna cut all those off. It's just awful, Rich. A big hole here. Can I give you some light here so you can see it? Just that piece of board that I just pulled out, and it was right there. I was cutting the pipe with this tool and right here where I was cutting, you see that? Then guess what happened? This popped out. This just popped out. You see how much stuff is on it? My assumption, they didn't use any glue or they just used a little bit. It wasn't clean. That's popped off. That's not supposed to happen, you see that? It just came off and you can't tell how dirty it is no glue at all it seems like no glue just a little bit inside that's all oh yeah yeah the more they take it apart the more i realize such a crummy work they did and this pipe is moving like that you see it's loose so i have to take some of the dirt out here to see what's going on underneath I'm gonna put a little cloth in there so dirt doesn't get to a debris. Just wanna show you. Another thing I found. Unbelievable. Can't believe this. Here I'm gonna list what I think uh, this renovation needs. Uh, of course, then after that, we're gonna focus on framing the shower area, then focus on drywall installation, replumbing shower area, waterproof shower area, the, removing the core and tiles, uh, the tree area, and uh, retile it. Then remove the mirror and think what's the best way to handle that. We need plumbing and installation. I need to replumb the toilet area and install the toilet. I'm sure it needs some electrical work. Then work focus on do some trimmings around the door, install medication cabinet inside the wall, painting cabinets and walls, install shower doors. <laughs> this is gonna be a long project, folks. Wish me luck. I have no clue what I'm gonna find out when I start taking all these things out. Uh, stay tuned. I'll be honest with you, it takes so much time to make these videos, editing, uploading, and make sure there's enough information that it actually makes sense, you know, if you want to follow. At this time, I want to take the opportunity and thanks my subscribers uh, with their uplifting comments. You always encourage me to upload more videos since this is just a hobby of mine. Again, I appreciate you. Enjoy all these videos and you all have an awesome day. Take care. If you're interested to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel and you will be notified when a new video being uploaded. You have a great day.